Hi, Heather James, Alistair here in Bournemouth. Uh, just a message for the voicemail about attitudes and loss of catalogues. When I first started out in the business last uh, July, August time, I did suffer quite a lot of loss of the catalogues and it was one thing which I was really worried about. But I was told, carry on, carry on, plug on, and when you reach customer base, your losses will be virtually nil. Well, I've reached that position of customer base now and that message is quite true. I've virtually suffer from no losses of catalogues at all. Occasionally, I might lose one or two, but they do tend to turn up the following month. Um, normally, the customer's been away on holiday or something like that. Recently, I've done some blanket drops, and on one of these, I put out 253 catalogues, obtained 13 orders. The value was £199.50, but I lost 33 catalogues. <coughs> so this got me thinking. I can think of this two ways. Uh, I could think of this in a negative way and think, God, I've lost all those catalogues. I have to spend another 20 quid to replace them all. That's one way of thinking. The other way of thinking is, hang on a second, I've just invested 20 pounds in my own business to obtain 13 new customers who will give me repeat orders in the future for as long as I'm doing this business. That is only one pound 53 per customer. So that is uh, you know, a different attitude to, to, to think about lots of catalogues. Um, you do need to invest in your, in your business for your business to grow. So I found the more you invest in your first few months, certainly the first six months, the quicker you will get to customer base. If you lose catalogues and you don't reinvest, it will take you longer to get to the customer base. So I hope that helps somebody, and um, I wish you all well in, uh, for those new people building up their customer bases. Thank you.